Mother Coco, Rafa Daniels gave us opportunity. This is the Team Ground Zero. We've been doing this for a long time. One two, one two, one two, one, one two. Hello, everybody. This is Claudette, and I am here in the Bronx celebrating Miss Deborah Coco. Yes, Miss Deborah Coco for just give me the mic. It's the ninth anniversary for Just Give Me The Mic. And Deborah Coco does so much in the community, I had to come out here to support her. There's so many great artists who are gonna be performing here. And not only that, there's surprises also. Um, you know, Uncle Ralph, Uncle Ralph from Video Music Box, he's going to be here also. There is a long list of people who I am dying to meet and dying to talk to but first of all I just want to shout out all the kids in the world and all those people that matter we all matter we all matter I just want to give a big shout out in general and I'm excited nine years can you imagine nine years of serving the community and really propelling a lot of these great young artists to stardom and this people you know who've done this Miss Deborah Coco but enough about that. We're gonna just stick around. There's a lot to see. Don't go anywhere. Just follow me. Stay with me. Hey, this is Ralph McDaniels of Video Music Box, and you're watching Believe in Yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Whatever it is you were just screaming, keep doing it. Yeah. Mr. Malta. Mr. Malta. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Little stars. I love it. Okay. I'm ready when you are. Sorry. Okay. Ready? Here we go. So, I'm Dara Jamat. I'm here at Mocha Lounge for the Monday Night Open Mic with Smokey and so many other talented artists, comics, who just make people laugh and bring some joy on a Monday night. And you can't, you can't, it doesn't get better than that. So, I love Smokey. I think he's amazing. And just being able to be a part of his open mic is awesome. You can find me, um, I'm actually hosting this Wednesday at Brooklyn Comedy House uh, on Bedford and Putnam in Brooklyn. So, yeah, I'm just enjoying this comedy grind and it's a, it's a pleasure to be here at Mocha. Hernandez, <laughs> you have any words? <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, so you know, you know, I ain't bring my car with me, but I'm saying we can hop the train. We can, oh shit, what's up? Hey, uh -huh. Yo. Hey, man. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, god damn, you know, it's pretty busy out here. What's up? This is Corey Zoom Man Miller. I'm out here representing my boy Smokey, uh, King of Harlem. And also Thought Whisperer. That's my dude. And then a lot of people I'll say that about. About a football team worth of people in the whole industry I'll say that about. But this definitely my dude, King of Harlem. If I come to Harlem, I gotta see Smokey. I gotta chop it up with him. I'm my fam. And as President Obama would say, listen, uh, we've had Smokey to the White House about five times. And each time, uh, he brought me some sour diesel from, from Harlem. From uptown and uh, Michelle doesn't like that she don't like that but that's what you saw uh, that's what you saw Malia smoking she got hold of that sour diesel that I got from Smokey and uh, she got she got caught out there that shit's strong god damn <laughs> god bless America god damn she was strong <laughs> For the world, I'm gonna 
All right, right now, everybody, we have the birthday girl right here coming to you live from Laughaholics Diner in Brooklyn. Hi, hi, everybody. My name is Danny B. I'm the CEO of Danny B Styles, and today's my birthday. Tell them the superstar that you have with you in the building tonight, too, as well. The superstar? I mean, all of y'all are superstars, but she has a superstar that she's promoting right now. The superstar, which is also my sister, her name is It's Jubilee. It's Jubilee. It's Jubilee. Jubilee. She's an up and coming artist. She yes. Gospel and inspirational music. And you can get her album on iTunes, you Spotify, can on Spotify title, title, YouTube, YouTube. But it's called Joy Uprising. Joy Uprising. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Look at all these lovely ladies. Everybody, stop trying to shoot their shot on the DMs. They don't want nobody shooting their shot on the DMs. These ladies are taking their all beautiful. Stop it. Everybody relax. Do you have anything else? You, upcoming shows you got promoting or anything like that? Upcoming well, venues? I'm in a series. So if you follow me on Instagram at it's Jubilee underscore, then you'll be able to keep in touch, and I'll be posting flyers for the new year 2019 for Sunday Soul Flow. It's an inspirational groove. Come and experience God in an authentic way. No pressure. Just good music. Music, good food, great atmosphere. I have an Instagram at Danny B Styles. I'll also do women empowerment groups called Danny B Shop and Swap. That'll be coming in 2019. So look for us. All the lovely ladies, black doing their thing. We out here. We out here. We, we out working. Here. We out here working. Can we out yes, here. Yes. See you again. Thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you. And you're the only person who I insist smile at me when I'm speaking. Some people, they want to take my video and then they be smiling. What you smiling for? You ain't in it. <laughs> this is Nikki Carr. I'm hosting the Apollo Theater tonight, the comedy club part, not the main room. But I'm going to get to the main room. You coming? And I'm here on DJ Mario TV. Mario TV is always in the building doing what he do. That's why we love him, DJ Mario TV. Right, we back, y'all. Let's go, let's hey, go. Hey, Shout hey, out to my up? sister, Deborah Coco, Ralph McDaniels. We in the building. Yeah, we celebrating this anniversary. We giving thanks to everybody that supported for all the years. And I love my sister, Deborah Coco, phenomenal woman. I love everything she do. I'm her partner in crime always and forever. Like. Like, shout out to Just Give Me The Mic all day. For those who are watching, sis, just tell people who you are. I'm Sawana Real, and I'm, I'm supporting my sister, DJ Ralph McDaniels, Just Give Me The Mic. Like, I'm showing love all day for, like, nine years we doing this in the business. That's how we give it up. That's yeah. right. Sis, on three, let's just say happy anniversary. Happy anniversary to my sister, Deborah Coco, DJ Ralph McDaniels, and all of um, Just Give Me The Mics. All that on uh, 16 ball stuff. Let's go. Let's go. Thank you, sis. Now, so you and I, you and I have history, right? We have. <laughs> I have a lot of bathroom history with a lot of females here. That's right. I didn't even know you were Deborah Coca's daughter. Yeah. You know how life is? Right. I, I bet you didn't even know who I was. No, either. I had no idea. But I just want to say, how do you feel? What do you have to say to Mama? I'm very proud of her from where this started to how it is now and see how many people support her. I think it's amazing. She's done a really great job. Yeah? Yeah. So what, what is your wish for your mom? For her to continue to grow and become even bigger than where she is and become famous. We'll see. Well, tell your mom how much you love her. Girl. I love you so much, Mom. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> All right. On three, let's just say the sky is the limit, Mom. Okay. One, two, three. The, the sky, sky is, is the, the limit. limit, Mom. Mom. <laughs> that you helping ain't helping you in some way. How can you be making some kind of donation to what you're doing, Deborah? Let's get it to that level where people feel like they want to be part of it and put some money up for it because, you know, she got kids, she got a job, she got shit to do. You know what I'm saying? So give it up for my sister Deborah Coco, all right?
culture class, right? He introduced this whole thing about hip hop and the culture. And I'm just, I just love music. I just love sharing everybody's story and being a part of people's journeys and connecting people and networking. And I just love everybody that I come in contact with. And thank you so much for coming out tonight, y'all. You know what I mean? I really, really thank y'all for, I hope you watched the shows, been a part of the shows, and been a part of the vision that I've really been trying very hard, y'all, through all the things I went through in my life, I still stay consistent, right? And I still try to bring you quality shows and to introduce people on a positive level, so just thank you, y'all. I appreciate everybody that came out tonight. We, and we got legendary Ron G in the building, y'all. He's gonna, he's gonna tear it down we have all of the performances. Shout out to, oh, Juicy. What's up, Rashi? Shout out to Juicy. Shout out to Situationships. Shout out to Don Two Real. Shout out to just everybody, man. I don't want to miss nobody. Are we ready for the show? Yes, we ready for the show. So, wait, Ron G. Where's Ron G? Ron G, you want to say something? What up, what up, y'all? I need to know what thing is the Bronx here tonight. <laughs> Working, seeing the people. Hey, DJ Mario. It's good to see you. Good to right, see you. Right, yeah, happy word. New happy New Year. Happy New Year. Hey, happy New Year to Believe in Yourself video, Thank Believe in you Yourself know. movement, the productions, basketball, all that, all that good stuff, all that good stuff. So what brings you out today? Did you do your cipher? Oh no, no, no. You know, I, if I was in there, I would be out there until 12 o'clock. Even though the events is over at eight, they, they they already like got a cipher round for everybody. So. Thank you. You already know, man. It's the GOAT. The greatest of all time. Mike Mizzle. Mike Mizzle, the hype king. Mike Mizzle, everything. Mike Mizzle, the hallelujah, all that. You can find me on IG, SoundCloud, 14th Street. I'm everywhere, you feel me? I'm everywhere. And on FB. Yeah, I don't be on FB like that, but I still be on FB, but you can still find me, though. It's reality, baby, but yeah. I'm chilling though. Everything good with you. Yes, man. Your grandmother is good. Everybody. Is yeah, good. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> <All right>. I'm, <laughs> I'm seeing everybody today, yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Uh, who, uh, who are you, sis? Come on in the shot. Yeah. Who are you? Um, I'm Princess. Remember from Eric Stevenson? Oh uh, yes, 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 yes. How I'm running for district leader. That's right. How are you, sis? I'm doing well. How you feel? Hey, you great. Doing good. Thank you. Yes. 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 And I have, you know, I have my own company called Supreme and Kenyatis Entertainment uh, LLC. I book artists. I consult artists. Um, this is how I was giving back into the community. Um, little legend that performed today. I knew him since he was a little child, and his sister. You know, I helped them to get, you know, to take different steps in the music industry. Mike Mizzle came to my showcases. Yeah, I did. They was very loyal and very faithful. They came every Thursday. They came every Thursday. 
to. Um, I watch a lot of movies. If this was Final Destination, I would have been the first one going. I'm the darkest one in here, so. So yeah, so um, I've I've known Deborah, uh, Ralph McDaniel, all of these people for a very long time. So. Are you on social media, sis? Yes. Uh, Instagram, Princess Lanita. Facebook, Lanita Jones. Okay, give us your, your information again on Facebook. You can find me on IG, 14th Street, FB, SoundCloud, YouTube, 1 million views, M-E-Z-Z-L, okay. Mizzle the Goat, M-E-Z-Z-L. Right. And I just want to apologize for bum rushing his video, but we haven't seen each other since last year, so it's good to see familiar right. faces, and I love your, your saying, they bum believe in me, so yourself. You good you good though. Believe in yourself. They bum rushing <laughs> On three, on three. Let's yes. Say, happy anniversary to just give me the mic. Right. One, two, three. Happy, happy anniversary, anniversary to just give me the mic. Give me the mic. video and I am just over the moon and back because the lady you see all this take a look the lady who orchestrated all this who's worked her butt off <laughs> hands and feet and nails and tooth who made all this possible is sitting right here with me yes, Miss yes. Deborah Coco yes. Nine years doing the damn thing, and take a look. This is what's up, Deborah Coco. I just want to tell you. I think I said this to you the first time I met you, and I really mean this. You're someone that I aspire to be. I am. I'm so proud. Standing next to you, sitting next to you as my sister girl. Black women with substance, because that's what it is. Black women with substance doing great things in the community. Thank you. Thank I'm you. I'm proud of you, sis. Thank you so Nine much. Nine years. Nine years for just give me the damn mic. <laughs> right, the damn the mic. The damn mic. <laughs> How do you feel, sis? I'm just blown away. I, I, tonight, like, I, I've never been one that's who, who's been lost for words. But my eyes is tearing up, like, all the love in the building tonight. Like, I'm so thankful, so humble, and... I, I just, for once, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Like, it's so much love in the building, and I just want to thank everybody because you don't realize what goes on behind the scenes, right? It's a hard journey keeping up with artists. You have your, your regular life. You're trying to keep up with this on the side, and it's so much that you have to deal with no matter what's going on in your life. We have to persevere. We have to be consistent. We have to stay relevant. So it's so much, and I'm just, like I said, I'm, I'm just thankful. That's the, the tone, the word of the day is thankful. I'm so thankful. This room shows me that what I've been doing has not been for nothing. It, it, it hasn't has been not, in vain. It hasn't been in vain. Hasn't it hasn't been in, been in vain. And it's all about the people that come on the show. Without the guests, without the artists, without people wanting to come and share their story and their dream. It wouldn't be no just give me the mic. I can't do it without the people that support the show. And not only that, Deborah Coco, the common denominator tonight was that you are a stand-up sister. And if you have to roll up your sleeve, you yes. always roll up your sleeve yes. and you help. Yes. It's not about Deborah Coco. It's not about me. It's about you. It's about us really getting the word out to you, making sure that your your voice is heard, making right. sure that you are relevant, making sure that you are visible. Right. That's right. what it's all about. This is a platform and a vessel for the artists to use. We offer advice. We offer through stories. Through stories and experiences, we give you some insight or some things you can do to prevent to prevent some pitfalls, you know? So, I mean, that's what it's all about. Like I said, nine years consistent, doing it strong. I wouldn't stop for nothing, you know? And I expanded into acting, and I'm just growing and finding ways for me to grow as a person and an individual. So, the entertainment lane offers so much, right? And I've had the opportunity to meet some wonderful, wonderful, Wonderful people, so I feel blessed.
thank you again to you for coming out and hosting this red carpet for me to DJ Mario TV. Yeah. Just thank everyone that is here right now in the building, supporting, just give me the mic, and I'm just so thankful. That's all I'm I wouldn't say. have it any other way, and I would be remiss if I didn't mention your kids. Yes. You have to mention your kids. Yes. Give a shout, shout out to my son who's going to be performing tonight, Malik. Shout out to my beautiful daughter, Diamond, who is in the building right now, and, and my two little ones, 12 and 14, and I have two grandkids, my two little Shania and Amaya. Thank you, because again, they, you know, they're the perfect situation for me to allow me to do what I do, so I'm just grateful. I don't, I don't know. I, this is what I, this is what I have to say. We're into, this is your ninth year. Right. I can't wait to be sitting here nine more years from now. We're going to be, well, maybe we'll be in a bigger venue, but regardless, I can't wait to be sitting with you again Yes. and talking about what you've done for 18 or 20 years. Right, Think right. Because that. I'm not stopping. I'm There's just, no need I feel stop. like, I, I don't even feel like, matter of fact, nine years, I think back, I'm like, it's really been that long? The time flies by so fast when you're doing things that you love to do. So, I mean, I'm looking forward to nine more, 18 more, 20 more. I might have a cane, but I... Well, let me, let me just say this. We'll have a cane. Right. But it doesn't matter because we'll be sexy as hell. Still sexy. Still, Still sexy, sexy as hell. <laughs> so what do you have to say to all those people who came out and supported you? I just want to say without you, there is no me. And I'm forever grateful, forever thankful for you being here and, and recognizing what the vision is for Just Give Me the Mic. It's about a platform, a vessel for artists to come and show the world who they are, what it is that they do, and to share their stories and their experiences. That's what it's about. And we highlight you in a positive way. Just like believe in yourself. That's all you gotta do. Believe in yourself. That's it. That's it. You know what? Let's just say, just give me the mic. We're here to stay. Right. Right. Let's just say that on three. One, two, three. Just, just give, give me the, the mic. mic. We're, We're here, here to, to stay, stay, baby. That's Check right. us out Sunday nights, channel 68. Go to the YouTube, subscribe, support, and in Manhattan, we come on at 8 p.m. on Sundays, y'all. Thank and you so much for all your support. Peace and blessings, everybody. Yes. Tell somebody you love them, you really love them. Yes. I love yes. you, Deborah. Love you, too. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let me get a hold of you. Yes, yes, yes. For those who are watching, what's your name? My name is Lord Chaos. L Little Chaos. Lord Chaos. Lord Chaos. I met you before. Yes, you have. You and I met before on a boat ride. Do you remember that? Yep. <laughs> Memory is everything, everybody. Memory is everything. Yes. How are you, my brother? I'm all right. I'm all right. Yeah. I'm just here um, promoting the new mixtape with me and DJ Von G, Butter Blase, Sean Black, uh, Frank Lucas Jr., Tra Tragedy Gaddafi. You know what I'm saying? It's, you know, that's what we're doing here tonight. I love that. So you have anything that you... I know you told me about the mixtape, but is there anything else you have coming up? you have anything coming up? Yeah, we got a few shows coming up. Follow us. At, um, follow me on Instagram at Lord underscore Chaos underscore, and I have everything posted there. I love that. What do you think about the passing of Kobe? How, how did that affect you? You have kids? Yeah, I do. And what, I and what do you I have a daughter or son. I have a daughter. You have a daughter. Yeah. So how, how did you feel when you heard that? I immediately felt bad because my daughter is about his daughter's. You really? know what I'm saying? So it was like. You know, it was it was emotional for me. It really was emotional for me, as if I knew him, as if he was like if we grew up on the same block. Well, this is how a lot of us felt because yeah. we basically see him grow up. That's right. That's right. You know? He was definitely a big part of the household growing yeah. up. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. So you was a dad 
I imagine you must have gave your daughter that extra special hug. Absolutely, absolutely. Did, right? Well, I didn't get a chance to give her a hug because she lives in North Carolina now. But you thought about it. But I called and her the called. next morning and I told her that I love her. I love that. It's so important. Look into the camera now and tell your daughter. Call her name and tell her you love her. Malika, I love you. You already know. Um, how are you on social media? Tell me if you're on social media. Social media. Lord, at, on my Instagram is at Lord underscore chaos underscore. Let's give a big shout out to Deborah Coco. Let's do it. You know, how yeah. you want How you want to do it? How However you want to do it. Do it. I don't know. Let's, let's put some flair in it. Let's just right. say, you know, let's just say, Deborah Coco. Happy ninth anniversary. Yeah, but let's just say, just give me the mic, like with a mean face. Let's do it. Let's mean it out. Let's do it. One, two, three. Deborah Coco. Coco. Happy ninth anniversary. anniversary. Just, just give, give me, me the, the mic. mic. <laughs> Thank you. We get a photo with you. Um, I heard something today. I heard we lost another one of the greats. Yes, um, yeah. believe it or not, I was supposed to go to see Tommy Allen Friday at backstage and I just got a word while I was here. I got the text message. Two or three people text me. Was he me. ill? I don't know. Yeah. You know? Well, we just want to extend our condolences to his family. Absolutely. And just let them know that we are praying for you and you are in our prayers. Absolutely. Yeah. Sincere condolences and, you know, rest in peace, you know? Yeah. Well, what brings you out today? Oh, you, family here, you know, Deborah Coco. Ralph That's McDaniel. It's a family. Oh, oh yeah. It's a family affair. I've been shaking hands and taking pictures all night. Yeah, you love that. Uh, for those who are watching, tell people who you are. I, I know who this good brother is, but I, for those of you who don't know. I am the commander, DJ Latif. I do DJing of all sorts. I work with so many different promoters and... Deborah called me up one day and was like, come down to the studio. We got to do an interview on you. We got to get you in with everybody else. I'm one of the original pioneers. So, you know, we've been we've been around for a while. I've been doing this since I was 11. You know, I've talked to so many DJs and I have to say, well, I'm in my 50s, people. I'll be 58 next month. And I'm a proud woman. I'm a proud black woman, a proud mother. I am just across the board proud but when I sit back and I think about my earlier years mm -hmm. when I grew up hip hop was everything yes the it was the music the music I mean the music has changed so much today oh. and, and, and <laughs> I'm not knocking it because uh. you know different strokes for different folks because music evolved just like you know changes in the world we have to evolve with the changes but Man, oh man, I miss my music from back, back then. Back in the day, it was all about the beats, the dancing, the break dancers, and the MC. And in that order, today, it, I mean, we took records and blacked out the labels on them because we didn't want nobody to know what it was. I know. We wanted to have an exclusive. And today, if it ain't played on the radio, don't nobody want to get up and dance. Isn't that something? <laughs> It's crazy. I was, talking to, I was talking to a DJ uh, just a couple days ago, and he, he said to me, listen, anybody can make a record because all you have to do is just pick up like a, 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 a nursery something, rhyme. Right, something that rhymes and just repeat it. No, they do nursery rhymes now. You know, it's a song, baby. It's a song. <laughs> it's, it's that evolved. That's all I can say. And to stay relevant, I, I do what I do. I play a little bit of it. But I like to say that I'm bringing dancing back. I like to, I like to keep the dancing in, 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 the, in that scenario. You know? I, like that. I love that, too. Mm. So tell people where they can find you on social media. You and I are connected yeah. on social media, I know. You can find my fan page, DJ Latif, L-A-T-I-F. It's a fan page on Facebook. I'm on Instagram, I'm on Twitter, the commander, DJ Latif, and I'm all over the place. It's easy to find me. Everybody know who I am. <laughs> and if you can't find 
my name, you're not looking hard enough. <laughs> That's right. Right? That's you right. You want to give a shout out to Deborah Coco? Absolutely. Shout out to Deborah Coco and Ralph McDaniel for just giving me the mic. Um, I love y'all, and let's keep this thing going. On three, let's just say, just give me the mic. On three. One, two, three. Just, just give, give me the mic! <laughs> Ground zero. All right, just hold up. Just hold your head up. Juice. Hunnets. I'm sorry. Hunnets. J Mac, you heard? J Mac. I like that shirt. A lot of colors, man. Yeah, that, that's what's up. Uh, that's what's up. So what brings all of you out today? Well, we here, you know, we performing. You know, all the artists is out here. We trying to just, you know, perform um positive vibes, you know, and, and you know, we've been. We've been through a lot as children, and we you know we came from the ground, from the ground zero. So that's what we started, and you know now we here performing, just trying to just get into the vibe, and get into the music. It's 2020, you know, but we're trying to make moves. I love that. What about you, young man? What do you have to add? Well, first and foremost, I want to give a shout out to God. Thank you. Thank you. My mother, Coco, Rafa Daniels gave us the opportunity. This is the team Ground Zero. We've been doing this for a long time. We want to say thank you for everybody. We're just trying to make our voice be heard. You know, we started from the bottom. You know, everything we do is on our own. We self-made. And uh, I just want to say we coming. God bless you. And you, my brother. Well, we all the three of team. We are more like family. We just want to be seen and just heard. Because that's our dream. It's, it, it just be what we want, you know? I love these guys. I just want to give a shout out to my cousin, my boy Hunnitz. We've been through it. You know what I mean? But came a long way. Now we here, you know? That's it. The hip hop just let us in. We here. We here. Are you guys? Are you on social media? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 we on Instagram. You know, uh, uh, underscore X King Juice. That's my Instagram. You know. Okay. You can add me at Fly Media Hundreds. That's my page. Then we got a group page called Ground Zero. At Ground Zero, you can add that. Put our music up there. We got YouTube. You know, Ground Zero. We got a lot of things. That Piff. We got a mixtape out there. Called Ground Zero. We got more music coming 2020. So yeah, that's me, man. Social media, hundreds, man. That's it. It's that. crazy because it's crazy because I'm a comedian. So if you guys want to be, for, uh, <clears throat> I'm sorry, but follow me on the IG, Official J Mac FT. I'm a comedian. I'm trying to get out there, you know. I also do music, but I'm also trying to get the spotlight. I guarantee there's not one rapper that brought a comedian out before they rap. So that's my dream. This is Fanny. I'm going to come out, and they're going to come out and rap. This is why we're here. I'm trying to make it possible. I'm trying to make it happen. This is our dream. I love these guys. I love that. A little birdie just told me that you are your girl, Deborah Coco, son. Yes. Come on up, baby. You got you to gotta give me more for mama. You got you to gotta give me some more for your mom. You know, let me just say this. Your mom... Your mom continues to break barriers. You know, yeah. you know how, you know how, yeah, she, how big that she, is? Yeah, she's big, man. She's making her market as well, man. She, she's doing it. continues to open doors for a lot of young people. And you know what? The sky's the limit because her intentions are always. She wears her heart on her sleeve. And she just goes the extra mile for so many people. She's very giving. And I'm happy to be here to support her. How do you feel about mom? Say something to mom from the heart. Yo, Ma, I love you. That's it. That's I love it. you, Coco. Three words. I love you. Back, we love you, Mom. That's it. On three, let's just say, just give me the mic. My mom is here to stay. One, two, three. Just, just give, give me the, the mic. mic. My, My mom, mom is here, here to stay. stay. That's it. That's what's up. <laughs> Let me get a photo with you. Okay, Guys, come on, come on. One, two, three. A photo, a photo. A photo? Yeah. Here, picture, picture. It's your boy Ferran Chisholm. Y'all already know what it is, man. I got my wife here with me. You know what I'm saying? How are you, sis? I'm good. Thank you. And I'm, and you 
Uh, Wendy, I'm yeah. her friend. Hi, how are you? How far did you go to From Mount Vernon. Mount Vernon? Really? Yeah. I'm from, did you get any food? No, we just got here. You just got here? I came to show love to my girl Coco, you know what I'm saying? I remember when she first got her first TV show, like nine years ago, you know what I'm saying, on BronxNet. Cause I had my TV show, you know what I'm saying. So she did. She been grinding, doing her thing. So, you know, with just to, just to see all the people that came out to show support. You know, I'm here to show support for her. You know what I'm saying? That's an amazing thing. You know, we gotta support our own. It's important. Yeah, yeah. And you too. You doing your thing too. I don't know if any, I don't know if anybody gives Claudette credit, man. Claudette St. Rose. She doing her thing too, man. Thank you, my brother. I appreciate it. And shout out to my man Mario. That's that's my Marine dog right there. So you know. We both Marines, man. He survived Paris Island. <laughs> <laughs> so, for those who are watching, you're also in the industry, are you? Well, yeah, you know, I do what I do. You do what you do. I'm a filmmaker, you know. I got I got a couple projects okay, I'm working so on. Tell people, you know, what you do and how they can find you. Yeah, for those that don't know, my name is Ferran Chisholm. I'm a filmmaker. I write scripts. I direct. You know what I'm saying? I got my own film equipment now. We're getting ready to do some things. I got a, um, a, a, a mini series called Racona Park. That I'm working on, I'm about to revamp the whole thing. You know what I'm saying? And um, you know, shout out to my man Fred One's TME Pro Recordings. You know, I've been a, I've been a studio engineer for like 15 years, so it is what it is. So like, I I I got love for everybody that's in here, man. And I, like I said, I'm just here to shout out my girl Coco for doing her thing. I'm proud of you, girl. Keep doing your thing. We gonna link. Shout out to my boy Dave May. He around here somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Me and him about to link up on some stuff too. So. We get ready. We get ready to pop it off for 2020, man. That's awesome. Do you mentor any kids? Do you do any mentoring? Oh yeah, all the time. If, I mean, if you got some kids you want me to, I'm looking for interns. You're looking for interns. I'm looking for interns. Well, if you a kid, if you a young person, and you want to get in the films and all that, call at your boy, man. I'm looking for interns to help me on set. You know what I'm saying? That's great. So give them your name again on Facebook. Would that be the best way to reach you? Yeah, Facebook. You know, my number. I'll give you my number okay, if you want. Right. But okay. My name is Ferran Chisholm. On Facebook, it's Ferran E O T M Chisholm. My man Mario, he, he he already got my information, so he can put it on the screen. You know what I'm saying? My number is 917 736 4947. If you want to get into films, you want to get into acting, you want to get into you know script writing, directing, all that good stuff, holler at me. I got a couple projects. That we that, that that that's in development right now, and we could definitely use some interns. But I gotta tell you this: come ready to work. Don't think you're just gonna come and just hang out and take selfies in front of my camera. We're not trying to hear that. I'm putting you to work, so come ready to work. You know what I'm saying? Because we get this work over here, bro. That's what's up. Come ready to work. <laughs> come ready to work, man. We get this work over here, man. So you wanna let's just let's just wish. The year just on. Let's just wish Deborah Coco congratulations and just say happy and happy ninth anniversary. To just give me the mic. Happy ninth anniversary, Deborah Coco from Just Give Me the Mic. One, two, three. Happy, happy ninth, ninth anniversary, anniversary Coco. To Deborah Coco for Just Give Me, give me the, the Mic. Give me the mic. Just give me the mic. And shout out to Ralph McDaniel's too, man. Word That's up. What's up. Everybody that came out, man. Shout out to everybody that showed love tonight. It is what it is. She deserves it. She put a lot of work in, and she's an actress too. Yeah, yeah. Coco's doing her thing. Man. That's why we go get some food. Over there, to your left. Okay. To your left. Okay. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. There were so many people I was privileged to speak to. Ferran, his wife, his uh, so many other people, so many other people I got a chance to speak to. I am just excited. Deborah Coco, a lot of people came out for you, girl. That says one thing. You are standing the test of time. Happy to have been here. Just happy that we're doing things in the community to build our people. Thank you, thank you, thank you for allowing me, Claudette St. Rose, for believing yourself to be here to show some love to you, to show some love to the people that we care about. If you like what you see, you know how you can find me. You can find me several ways. Just reach out to me. You know my email, cvsga at yahoo.com. To my kids, my children, Maya and Gabriel, this has been an amazing experience. 
just really being in touch with people and what they're trying to do. Dreams are made by you consistently doing what you need to do and really staying the course. Continue to dream big. Continue to have big dreams. Continue to aspire to the next level. Peace and blessings, everybody. I'm out. Deborah Coco, I love you, girl. Just give me the mic.